Hey everyone, my name's Tucker. Nathan uh, is my brother. He's the co-founder of Shark Bands, and he asked me to give a little tutorial on how to rig the new Shark Band Zeppelin with a spear fishing rig. So I've been spending time in the ocean basically my entire life. I'm a big spiro, surfer, free diver, and you know I've had a lot of encounters with sharks in my life. And so when they invented the Zeppelin for pole fishing, we were trying to figure out a way how do we rig this for spear fishing gear. And we were actually down in the tropics one night kind of brainstorming, thinking about ideas and came up with a really simple way of rigging this that you have all the gear in your normal repair kit to just do it today. And I uh, want to show you guys how to get that done. You need a very few items to actually create this setup. The first thing you need, of course, is a Shark Bands Zeppelin and then just two normal spear fishing crimps um, that go on monofilament a good pair of pliers or crimps and then some monofilament i'm using a 400 pound test monofilament but you could certainly use something thinner for this there's not going to be a whole lot of stress uh, on the line so basically what we're going to do is take the zeppelin and there's two holes on either side of the zeppelin and we're just going to rig a loop of monofilament on each side and then crimp it down so i'm going to show you guys that process real quick right now I think the easiest way is just to cut two, you know, about 10 inch pieces of the monofilament. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut two, probably eight to 10 inch pieces of monofilament. And then you can set that aside and basically then just take it, rig it through one of the holes in the Zeppelin and then just standard like you're doing a normal loop on your spear fishing rig. You're going to put the crimp through both sides. slide that through and then basically just pull down on one end so you get a loop that's fairly tight uh, you probably want about a one inch diameter uh, no more than a one and a half inch diameter but I think about an inch is plenty the key thing is you want to make sure that there's just enough clearance above this loop and the top of the Zeppelin so if you can see that just as long as there's a little bit of clearance because that's going to be part of the slide crimp this thing down and then I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. The other thing I think that's important is just making sure that the size of these two loops is about the same, about an inch on each side. I'm going to do a real quick cleanup on these. Obviously, you guys that care about being streamlined with your rig, tighten this up, do all the other things. But for the sake of your time, I'm just going to do a quick clip. All right, and there you have it. You basically have a Shark Bands Zeppelin, and you've got these two ringed loops with crimps on them on either side. That's your fundamental rig, the simplest thing you can do to rig this on your gun. So I'm gonna show you guys how to rig this. Uh, this is an Andre 144. It's on a breakaway setup. Um, it's a three band um, close track. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. So you can actually do this in the water, but I'm just gonna show you on land. It's a lot easier. So, you know, just pull your trigger mech and then Take the shaft out. All right, so I've got the shaft and the shooting line here of my spear gun on a breakaway setup and the Zeppelin. And basically what I'm gonna do is take the end of the shooting line and I'm just gonna string the Zeppelin through both ends. Like so. And then you're gonna have the Zeppelin hanging on the shooting line. Then from there, you're gonna ring your, rig your spear gun as normal. So let me just grab the gun real quick. You're gonna slide this back through and you're gonna rig it as normal. One of the things I've learned doing this that's really helpful once you have the shaft and the gun is just grab the Zeppelin, just stick it onto the shaft, right? Cause it'll just stay right there. And then you can move it in a minute, but it really helps with, with the wrap. And then you're gonna have the Zeppelin basically just hanging here and you can push the Zeppelin up against your top uh, wrap of your shooting line, or you can push it down to the lower wrap. When you have the Zeppelin rigged on the line and it's on this free sliding track, this is designed to create no impediment so that the, so that the shaft fires smoothly and cleanly out of the gun every time. When you fire the gun, the, the shaft obviously is gonna come out and then as you know, it's gonna go through the fish and then as you're ascending in the water, the gravity and weight of the Zeppelin is gonna actually 
coast down the line and it's basically like a like a track that you just made for the zeppelin and it's going to magnetize on at the end of the spear fishing shaft and boom you've got protection from sharks and it's going to increase your time and ability to get fish back onto the boat and away from those sharks so you know i've personally seen this work in the water it's it's pretty incredible uh, to watch sharks bounce off this thing and uh, really increase the time and increase your safety in the water that you have to land a bloody wounded fish back to the boat so uh, thanks for listening. Post any questions you have in the comments. We'll be happy to answer. And uh, thanks for watching.